getting so annoying focusing on this stupid thing back there. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a foundation roundup video for you. I get a lot of questions and messages about foundations and which ones to get, so I figured I would make this video for you guys. These are foundations that I personally use all the time. There's three drugstore in here and then there's also three higher end beauty counter brands in here. I'm going to go over these for you guys, talk about the things that I like about each one and all the rest. So. If you want to see this foundation roundup video, then keep on watching. Okay, so starting off, I just want to say that the foundation I have on today is actually two different uh, foundations. I have a drugstore one on mixed with a higher end brand, and I'll go over those now. I'm going to actually start with the drugstore one that I have on mixed with the luxury one. I'll talk about the luxury one just now, but we're going to start with drugstores. So the first one that I want to talk about is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This stuff is the probably the newest, one of the newer foundations that I've started wearing this year for 2018. It I'm in the color 30 sand, by the way. It does not have an SPF in it, so um, it definitely does dry down a lot more matte. That's why I've mixed it with another foundation. I kind of like a little bit more of a luminous look than a matte look, but these stay on really well. This is hardly even budges when I, once I put it on and I set it with a little bit of powder, it stays pretty much all day and I really like the way that it buffs out. And what I also like about this one is it comes with a pump. A lot of uh, foundations these days don't always come with a pump so it makes it a little bit difficult to travel with and to monitor how much you're using and just for you guys I use two pumps for the entire face if I'm going to be using just this foundation okay so the next foundation that I want to talk about is also a drugstore this one's from L'Oreal this one had a lot of popularity in 2016 2017 and I'm still using it today in 2018 this is the L'Oreal infallible pro glow this is the also a 20 24 hour foundation and I really love this. It's almost empty. I need to go ahead and get a new one. I'm in the shade 205. Also, I just want to say that my shades are probably not the exact shade for um, year round. Like I usually wear this one when I'm a little bit more tanned and this one, the Maybelline, I use in the winter. So this is a little bit darker, but they all pretty much are neutral or yellow undertone. So if that will help you decide if you're trying to figure out which one to get based off of that color range. Um, guys, I used this absolutely to death. It's got a radiant finish and uh, you can wear it up to, I mean it says 24 hours but nobody really wears makeup 24 hours these days. Um, it's got a medium coverage so it's pretty buildable and you can build it up to a full coverage if you want to. Um, this you could do just one coat over the whole face and then go back and do another coat if you want to you know focus on some redness or whatever it is that you're wearing cover blemish whatever um, this one comes with a twist off where you can squeeze out the foundation I liked I mean it's okay but I really do prefer a pump so in terms of that I don't really love that feature about it but I do love that it has SPF 15 in it where this one I need to make sure that I'm always putting on some type of um, moisturizer that has an SPF in it because I'm not covered with the foundation. That being said, with this having SPF in it, you get a much more luminous finish. So this next foundation I've talked about on my channel before. I know people have had a little bit of mixed reviews about it, but I absolutely love this foundation. This is also by L'Oreal. It is the infallible 20 hour, 24 hour Stay Fresh Foundation. I mean, these all say 24 hours these days. This is one of my absolute favorite foundations. I've been trying to find my shade in the lighter range and the more tanned version. This sometimes is a little bit too tan for me in the winter. What you could do is probably go one shade lighter and then that could be your winter shade. Where this is more of my, if I'm tanning, having self tanned or whatever, or it's summertime, I'm usually in the shade 230, but I adore this foundation and it also comes in a pump. You can tell that I've used it quite a lot, but this one stays on really well and it blends out so nicely. And I feel like all the other makeup that I put on afterwards, like my blush and my bronzer, some cream contours and all the rest, it just really makes everything look really airbrushed and it doesn't 
start, start to pull or lift up or anything. The only thing, like if I'm gonna go ahead and do like a mini roundup of over all the drugstore ones really quickly, is that I love that this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow comes in a plastic container. It makes it really carefree when you're traveling, where these two other ones are glass. So you have to be a lot more careful with them, wrap them in some tissue paper or something. There's just that chance that if you're gonna be traveling with them, they're gonna break. But also quickly, I just wanted to talk about these little earrings. These earrings I got on Instagram. I found the chick on Instagram, it's called By Cara. And she's a South African girl, but she imports all these really cute earrings and stuff. And she's really affordable pricing and stuff. They are costume jewelry, so it isn't real gold. So you do have to be careful when you are wearing them, not to, you know, spray perfume on it or, you know, just overuse them and, and all that kind of stuff. But they're really fun and really cute. And I just love the abstract little face. I just thought that was really original. You don't often find that kind of stuff. So if you want to shop these earrings, she's also got quite a few other really cool things on her website. I'll link her information down below for you guys so you can go shop her stuff. Um, but we're going to go ahead and move on to the luxury foundations. Okay, so these are all, I wouldn't say exactly luxury, but these are brands that you cannot get in the drugstore. You'll need to go to their counter specifically or like a boutique kind of vibes to get these. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick. This has been around for a really long time and this is probably one of my absolute favorite foundations like of all time just because of everything, every feature about it, everything. I'm just going to show you quickly what the bottle looks like and it actually is a twist up so if you can see there I'm at the bottom of this one I've got another one waiting to be used but um, I really adore this foundation because it's super luminous and easy to put on and I love the way that it travels it's really small basically what I do you've seen this on my channel before if you followed me for a while is I really just draw it on on the cheeks down the nose up on the t-zone and on the chin and just like three little lines down on the neck and this blends in amazing with a brush. It blends in amazing with a beauty blender. You can spray some Fix Plus spray over it and really get it moving around. And it's just so darn easy. And what I love about it, again, is that it is a stick foundation. You don't have to worry about any of the liquids or anything getting all over your stuff when you're traveling. And you can even put this in your purse and stuff. Like for me, I don't really like carrying foundations in my purse unless it is this one. Um, if you're curious about the color, I'm in natural tan. This is 4.25 and this is like the perfect shade. It is a very neutral to yellow undertone and it's a great transitional color. So I'm wearing this today with the drugstore um, Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour. So I have the two of these on, like one pump of this and a few little dots over the face with this. But this is just so darn easy to use and I've just been loving it for years. In terms of the coverage for this, I forgot to tell you guys, this is a medium coverage and it's pretty buildable, but I wouldn't say it's as full, like gets super duper full coverage. Okay, so my next foundation is by Tom Ford. I have loved this one for such a long time. I'm almost at the end of this bottle now. Um, this is the Traceless Perfecting Foundation and it is has an SPF 15 in it as well. This is very light to medium coverage. So this is so beautiful on the skin. I can't even tell you. It's just, it just looks like your skin, but better. So if you're looking for a light to medium coverage foundation, I know it's gonna be expensive. It's definitely not like the drugstore ones, but it you can't compare this one. It's just absolutely amazing. How this one works is it twists up like this and it comes as a pump, which is an amazing feature. It is plastic. The whole container itself is plastic, so you don't have to worry about the glass or anything breaking in your bag. I will say, however, it's probably the biggest foundation of all the rest of my foundations. This one's pretty big and this one is just, just takes up quite a bit more space. So it's not one that is easy to travel with and stuff. And the color that I'm in is 04 Bisque and it's just 
oh, it's just such a pretty color and it's just so creamy and it you know like when you see somebody and their face looks like they just had a facial that is definitely what this foundation looks like on and I can't rave about it enough because it really is one of my favorites um, I'm using it sparingly at the moment because it is almost at the end of its bottle um, but I will say that I use two pumps for the entire face okay so my last foundation today that I'm going to talk about is one that has been around for a really long time I remember my mom using this my grandmother using this this is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation guys this stuff has been I don't even know how long Estee Lauder has been doing this but it is such a cult favorite and I just adore this foundation it's an SPF 10 and this is super high coverage and I love the way that it looks and I know a lot of people aren't really full coverage makeup kind of vibes but this is it just blends so beautifully that it doesn't even really look like you've got full coverage on and what I'll say is that this one is great for people who do have oily skin because it tends to get more luminous over the day as you wear it in terms of if you're an oily skin person so it's pretty matte but I will say it I don't know it's like your natural oil it still lets your natural oils come through and breathe and everything so it really just looks like skin it's just this beautiful texture and every time I see people with this on it just looks good on everyone um, if you're curious about my color they've got like an incredible shade range they must have like 40 or 50 shades it's ridiculous but I am 1w2 sand I will say the only thing I do not like about this as it comes so you can buy it just like this and it is a twist off top so you need to like pour it in or put it on a sponge or whatever but I think Estee Lauder has realized that a lot of people aren't really keen on that if you go to the Estee Lauder counter you can buy a pump that screws in in replacement of the top so it can become a pump also the glass is really heavy so it's a very heavy foundation to take around with you if you're traveling if I had to choose my absolute favorites at the moment so um, again the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation this is what it looks like. Really been loving that one and it's really affordable. This one as well, the Bobbi Brown foundation stick, I just have to say it's just amazing. What's cool about it as well is that you can get lighter shades and darker shades and use them as cream contour. They're just so beautiful and just really melt into the skin. I really like that. Small, travel easy, all the rest. And then finally, the Estee Lauder Double Wear. It's just so flawless and because they have so many shades, you can truly match your skin tone. So you're not having to blend two foundation shades together or do other things. And I just really like the way that it wears throughout the day. Guys, these are the, all the foundations that are reviewed today. I'll try and link them all down below for you guys so you can shop them if you found one that you liked. I hope this video helped you out if you're curious about any of these foundations or just kind of what I'm wearing or ones that I like to wear. Um, again, my skin tone is like fair to medium and then I'm normal skin tone. I don't have like, a, I've got like a combination skin. It's oily sometimes and dry the other. But thank you again so much for watching. Subscribe if you're new. I make new videos every single week. Be kind to one another and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.